Hey guys, it's Rhiannon here at Mel Domestic Church. I wanted to do a video with you guys today from my not extremely messy homeschool room because I've been working on it, but still pretty messy homeschool room um, now that we're in the summer. But anyway, I wanted to do a video today with you guys about our new homeschool curriculum um, from St. Jerome Library and School, specifically on their history. So whenever I'm looking at a curriculum, I'm always curious what the history is gonna be like, what time period it's gonna be, um, how I can add in other things to it because I love to flesh all history out. Um, I personally have tried a lot of different homeschool curriculum and I feel like no matter what history I get, there's always so many fun things I can add to it. Not that it needs things to be added to it, but it's like so much fun um, to add more to it. But anyway, so I wanna show you guys what the history is like from St. Jerome Library and School. This will be specifically for the fourth grade curriculum. If you have not seen my unboxing video for the fourth grade curriculum, I will link the video in the description box below. Um, I will also be doing videos on the first and kindergarten curriculums, which will be coming in soon. We are so excited. Um, but anyway, so let me get these out. I want to show you what the history is, what the books look like, what comes with it. But before I do, I'll just, I'll tell you really quick what books there are. So um, it comes in fourth grade with history and logic, which I think is genius because logic is so, so important. And honestly, the fourth grade logic book is one of the things that I totally fell in love with first off um, about this curriculum and it made me really really want to get like everything because I thought if they're teaching logic I mean it can only get good from here so it has um old world treasures is the history book it comes with a book like a textbook it's so cute it's kind of like um like on an old school and I really really like it um a textbook a workbook it's very thorough and walks you through everything and helps your child understand how to use a textbook it comes with um, the logic book, which is super fun and super colorful. And so, yeah, so let's get started. I'm going to show you um, it all, and we'll go from there. Okay, so history comes with um, stories of pioneer life, which in the lesson plans are SPL, I believe. Like, they have everything abbreviated, so it's just easier to get everything into the days. This book is phenomenal. Um, I'm super... <laughs> wonderful stories and my little baby girl is here with us so um then we have the old world treasures teacher's manual and answer key catholic voyages in history four and i love this because this is going to go through and help you understand like exactly what to do so like in chapter 16 the guardian of ancient treasures it's going to like explain everything to you so you're knowing how to teach it and um and what you're doing so the lesson plans are basically going to point to what days to do what on and this will sorry for the glare and this will be there to really guide you through the lesson um okay then we have the textbook of old world treasures catholic voyages in history four which um i'll show you a bit more in a minute and then um okay before i get to that let me finish with the old world treasures this is the workbook i'll also show you a little bit of this and how you would um bring a lesson together this is my favorite a child introduction to the nature of description um this is the logic book okay and then this is the lesson plans which i got out oh i'm so sorry about the green we have so many windows in here this is the lesson plan book which i will also show you how to pull from Okay, so real quick, in the lesson plans at the beginning, they show you what's included. So um, here are the three or four history books, The Old World Treasures and The Pioneer Life um, on the right side right there. And then um, The Logic, which is over here. Um, they just kind of show you which books you'll have and what they're about and explain them and all, all that good stuff. So, um, okay, so let me get started and show you everything again. Here is... Um, Okay, here's the introduction to the teacher's like little manual. And just to give you like a little feel for for that. And then here's the stories of Pioneer Life. I love it. It's so, so sweet. Um, here's just a little flip through my baby girls getting in the CDs over here. Look at these sweet pictures. I love it so much. And this is something they'll read um, usually daily. And then um, this is part of the workbook. I really like the way it helps the child to understand the textbook. I don't want to show you too much, but I do want to show you a little bit so you can get an idea. Um, so like the first day is like page one and two and just a little feel for that. And then this is the textbook. Um, I, I love it. Like I said before, it's like really old school and it's just um, solid and foundational. And right here, you know, up front that it's approved by the Catholic Church, everything that's in it. 
Um, and here is the uh, table of contents. You want to get an idea of what they'll be covering. And then I read the first couple of pages and just fell in love with how um, they were doing everything, um, explaining everything. And uh, this is the logic book. So I wanted to show you a little flip through so you could get a feel for it and just kind of give you a picture of what it's like. I love it so much. It's so bright. It's so colorful. It is to the point. So it explains everything like these are names of people and then it goes through it um names of man-made things and yeah so here are the lesson plans and i just wanted to show you how it's laid out so history and logic is here and they have like the abbreviations um in the front just so they can kind of fit everything onto the page you can kind of familiarize yourself with it at the beginning of the school year and you kind of know what it's looking for it's like old world um uh, text, OWT, and uh, so on and so forth. So then you go back and you just kind of look at what they're expecting of the child um, at the beginning of the week, get a good feel for it. Um, so like on Monday, they would do this and, you know, so on and so forth every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And, um, and they have all the abbreviations. This is where I keep all of it all together. So when I want to pull it out, it's right there next to my teacher's desk. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope it kind of gave you a good feel for uh, what the curriculum is like, what they're offering, which I personally really, really like this because I like to have a curriculum, a history curriculum that is solid, foundational. And if I wanna add from there, I can. If I wanna find um, you know, CDs on the stories of people's lives, if I wanna go to the library, I wanna find books on the Egyptians, the Babylonians and add things in. If I want to do a craft, like I can do that, but I want the actual history to be solid, to be Catholic. I mean, I love that we know by the, by looking at the textbook that it is approved by the Catholic church. I know that everything in here is going to be solid and okay. I love that logic. I'm looking at it over here. That's why I keep looking over here. <laughs> um, I love that the logic comes alongside of it. So it's helping the child to decipher and to discern and to think about things as they're learning history. So I just wanted to share with you guys. So if any of you guys are like, hmm, I wonder what the history is like. Now you have a better idea of what the history is like from St. Jerome Library and School. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, I'd love for you to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. God bless.